spent some time at Five Squadron, quite a lot of time at Five Squadron, which was with um, Iroquois Helicopters, and then uh, went to Richmond for three years and worked on the Orions, Herks, Caribous, and um, and then had two special projects. One was um, working on the Sabre, and the other one was on a Mackie aircraft that was for the Chief of Defence Force, which was a special paint job as well, all white with blue and red stripe down the side of it. So I don't know where that is these days, but I, it's probably still about somewhere. But Sabre was, um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty scrappy when we got it. The paint had oxidised quite a lot, and um, um, it still had the the paint, the original, like that job that's on it now, um, but um, it was just really faded, quite quite bad. Um, but once all airframe and uh, and the sumpies got it all up to speed, we took it up to the hangar, stripped it all back, sent it back down to the DLM hangar, and uh, they worked on it for quite some time, and then brought it back up to us to spray. I don't know the official name of the, the paint stripper anymore. We used to call it Yellow Peril, but uh, it was quite a uh, quite a strong paint paint stripper yellow um, and then methyl ethyl ketone to scrub it off um, to uh, to get it clean and then we used to do uh, high pressure clean to get all the um, all the old goop out and uh, and then uh, clean it right up uh, and then send it back down again to be regooped by the airframe guys and then it came back up to us to sort of start chemical scrub down um, to get it to a water break test and then prime and paint. Painting probably took around about three weeks to uh, to do. Like it's just one colour, like the silver with the black on it, but the decals and the stencils. Like the amount of stencils that are on that aircraft are probably more than what we find on an Orion or a Herc. So quite a lot.